G'day there and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today we're talking about fuel pressure regulators. A modern port fuel injected engine has an electric fuel pump that feeds fuel from the fuel tank up to the front of the car and through the fuel rails, which are where the fuel injectors are housed. Then through the fuel pressure regulator, then back to the fuel tank. The fuel pressure regulator's job is to maintain a consistent fuel pressure across the fuel injector by regulating how much fuel is returned to the fuel tank in order to maintain the desired fuel pressure. Did you notice I said across the fuel injector? Now that's the important part here. Knowing that, we can determine the fuel injector flow rate. For example, an injector commonly referred to as a Bosch 1000 actually flows 1,035 cc at 45 psi and 1,085 cc at 50 psi. So that difference in base fuel pressure makes a difference to the amount of fuel the injector flows. So why is that important? Well, most modern ECUs work by calculating the amount of air going into the engine at any given time, then adding the right amount of fuel in order to achieve the tuner's desired air to fuel ratio. If the ECU has been told the wrong injector flow rate, the engine's fueling and fuel corrections won't be accurate and the tuner will have a really hard time getting it right. But there's a huge factor here that's often overlooked. Manifold pressure. If you've got 45 psi of fuel pressure going up the back side of the fuel injector and 10 psi of boost pressure acting against the tip of the injector, you end up with a differential pressure or pressure across the injector of 35 psi. This means that all the fuel calculations would need to work off an injector flow rate of 35 psi, not the 45 psi we had when we set the base fuel pressure. This is where a manifold pressure referenced fuel pressure regulator comes in handy. In order to maintain a consistent fuel pressure differential, we use a manifold pressure referenced fuel pressure regulator. This way, when we put 10 pounds of boost into the engine, the fuel line pressure is increased by 10 psi, resulting in a fuel line pressure of 55 psi and a differential fuel pressure of 45 psi the same as what we started with and resulting in the same injector flow rate. Even though the fuel line pressure and the pressure acting on the tip of the injector has changed. Now, let's have a look at a more extreme example. If we have an engine which has 45 psi of base fuel pressure, uh, by the way, the base fuel pressure is set when the fuel pump running and the vacuum hose disconnected from the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, if we do that, then we jam 50 pounds of boost pressure in the engine, we'll end up with 95 psi of fuel line pressure, but still only have 45 psi of pressure acting across the injector, resulting in the same consistent injector flow rate. The same fuel pressure regulator also works in reverse. When the engine's idling in vacuum, the base fuel pressure will be reduced to maintain the fuel pressure across the injector because the vacuum in the inlet manifold is sucking the fuel out, if you will, resulting in the same injector flow rate, but with less fuel pressure. To go one step further, you might want to map your fuel injector flow rate versus your differential fuel pressure. That way, if there are any discrepancies in your fuel system, the ECU will always know exactly how much fuel your injectors are capable of flowing. Another technical one, but I hope you now know how important your fuel pressure regulator and manifold pressure reference hose is. Happy tuning!